And welcome back, Gamer Nation. Uh, sorry for the cutoff on the last video. Um, I have no idea. I guess talk about nuclear ban treaties made the game crash and it stopped the video in a good moment. So, yeah, we're back now. So, policy dilemma. Nuclear test ban treaty. The United Nations is pushing for your country to sign a treaty that would ban us from carrying out any nuclear weapons test for research purposes. Many other nations have already signed the treaty and are pressuring us to sign through diplomatic channels. We could sign the treaty. We, will ha we have no real need to carry out further tests. It's not like the current generation of weapons do not work or are not powerful enough. Signing the treaty will keep environmental campaigners happy and will raise our popularity on the international stage. Do not sign the treaty. It's vital that we retain the right to carry out limited testing. We live in a dangerous world and our nuclear deterrent is vital to our defense. It's not for other nations to tell us how to defend ourselves. Besides, testing is required to ensure our weapons still remain usable. I think we're going to sign the treaty because we're socialist. 28 billion, we could drop taxes. So I think I will do that. Um... property tax probably no there was one of them that was really high let's see 2.8 billion 1 billion there what is this the sales tax is average The corporation tax is very high. We could actually drop that down. What is it at now? If we drop it 2 billion, if we make it average, people should be happy. We should have more businesses and things of that nature, I think. Good. I actually... God, let's let's wait another turn. If I make it to my third term, I'm doing the space program. That, that's just what I'm going to say right now. Let's see. To any respect for sausages and laws, one must not watch them in the making. That's so true. So true. Patriotic plot. Although we have always considered extreme plots such as members of the true way to be a bit crazed, the rhetoric coming from the organization in recent weeks has taken a turn for the worse. Many of them now seem certain that a military attack against their own government is justified and desirable. We do not believe that they are currently planning such an attack, but these, danger these are dangerous people and we need to keep a close watch on them. Good lord. Good news. The global economy is doing well. 29.9 .9 billion surplus each quarter. Your government is popular. Election is getting closer. Let's see. Market meltdown. We may not have done anything wrong, but a crisis in confidence in the overseas mortgage market has led to a global meltdown for the stock market. Big financial institutions are panicking, and there's likely to be a major, major international credit squeeze. The upshot of this will be a major hit to a, the economy in short term. Great. Uh, police chiefs are requesting that they be allowed to build up a global database of everyone's DNA to assist them in fighting crime. DNA evidence allows many previous unsolvable crimes to be tracked to the perpetrators, although there are privacy concerns. We're going to prevent this. Okay. We've almost paid off our debt. We are still overcrowded. I'm going to bump this up to $10 billion. Maybe not that much. We'll build it, bump it up to 9.51. There we go. So, we should have better... Just kills me that the overcrowding and stuff is still going on. Why don't we just build more hospitals? For God's sakes. Why isn't there a build hospitals? You know, we have road building. Christ. Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. Uh, environmental experts tell us the country's pollution problem is now under control. Yes! Oh, we have internet crime. This is great. Just great. Ooh, the budget has a 397 million surplus. Ugh. That crash really got us. Do we want to ban animal testing? Yes, we do. We want to ban it because we're socialist. Yeah, socialist rule. We don't want anything to go on. 
I am tearing this game up right now. I want you all to know that. Now that I've learned how to do this, very close. We got our debt down to 65 billion, which is kind of crazy since the United States. Oh, we're in the trillions. Never mind. Excuse me. Um, that's even scarier. Um, something tells me I might want to raise. No. I can't really change that right now. We could do a carbon tax. We could do an internet tax next turn. So what caused... Where's it at? Computer viruses that no longer simply break the target computer but hide themselves and steal users' private information until detected. Hmm. So how do we fix that? The intelligence service... I can't put more money into it yet. I have to wait and see how the economy does. So we'll wait. How come there's only one Monopolies Commission? That is an awesome quote. I need to write that down because I'm going to be teaching about monopolies here soon. That... that That's amazing. I'm glad I saw that. Thank you, Infernal Zephyr. You just helped me teach my class. That would be a good qu qu uh, quote and question. Nigel Rees. <sighs> asthma had been it. Good news on the health front. Doctors are happy to report that the asthma levels have dropped significantly or are back to acceptable levels. Awesome. Oh, we have a surplus of 3.66 billion. Things are good. Uh, real immediate threats. God, they're killing me. Uh, allow GM crops. Ban the cell. You know, I really can't figure out who is... I think the farmers would dislike this. Opponents concerned about the potential risks associated with altering the food chain. Farmers are divided on the issue. That's what I'm talking about. I just don't know. I don't like the fact that we're making genetically modified food. It, it really is turning into Star Trek where you could order like a ice cream sundae and you'll get an ice cream sundae which, te which tastes like ice cream sundae but really you're eating like a healthy dinner. So I don't know. I think our technology is big enough. We can handle this. Oh, the parents are loving me now. Man, I wish I could make the conservatives more happy. The welfare fraud department will make them feel better. Is my police force not fun? It's almost funded max. Here, we'll give you all some... No, oh, that's as high as it can go. What can I do to make the conservatives like me? Faith school subsidies. Often religious schools have a good academic reverence and their support. We can make some religion schools. We can't do school a lot of prayers here. Technology colleges. We've not done anything for any of this. The death penalty. Armed police. Prisoner tagging. <laughs> Racial profiling. That's what I want to start. Phone tag. Legalized prostitutions. We need to put something... I don't want that group to kill me. They're getting way up there. I've got to do something... They don't like stem cell research, and we're barely doing it. So I need something very positive for conservatives, just to keep them at bay. I mean, they only make up not even a quarter of the population. I know they're upset at any inner-city riots, but 
I don't know what's... I don't know why that's still a problem. Poverty makes it happen. State schools... Let's add another billion to states. No. You gotta remember, this is per turn. Four turns are in a year. Let's, let's go up another... What did it start at? 52? We'll go to 552. What was it here? 13%. So that much money for a 1% difference. That's not really worth it. There's no reason we should still have inner city riots right now. I mean, that just doesn't make sense at all. Our prisons are maxly funded. See, this makes the Patriots like us, but no, it's not... Not for the conservatives. Let's talk to some of the members. What do you all need? person's income is 856 a year. That's terrible. But look at their approval. Like, here's somebody that's unhappy. Middle income. I just... Terrorist attacks are making them dislike me. They didn't like the fox hunting, the DNA... Oh, they wanted the DNA database? That doesn't make sense. But if we did ID cards, they would like it. A jury trial. See, conservatives don't like jury trial. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't. I don't. It just doesn't... It, oh, it kills me. Phone tapping. You know, I might actually do this phone tapping. And... You know, crime goes down, terrorism goes down. It's only 51 million. Liberals, 20. That's a little too much. Universal monitoring, widespread use, on police request. There we go. Right there, be good. Alright. <sighs> the only thing that saves us from bureaucracy is inefficiency. That's true. Miracle operation. Doctors have successfully reattached a hand to a man who was involved in a serious car accident. The success of the operation has been attributed to our country's superb health care and technical knowledge. This is great news for the image of our public services. 4.5 billion. That's great news. The economy is doing well. You're popular with the majority of voters. The election is drawing near. Uh, toxic waste dump. We will not allow that. Man, if we could pay off our debt. Conservatives going up a little bit, hopefully. Where did that thing go? I hope that was, like, right on them. I just... Inner city riots should be done. I just don't understand the poverty. If I increase welfare, will that, or unemployment, will that help? 
But what's my unemployment? Is it even a concern? It's really low. The GDP is making unemployment bigger. Does our GDP suck that bad? What's the petrol tax at? Punitive? Oh my god. We're at five. Oh my god. The environmentalists are not going to like this, but it is way too high. Four point four seven brings it down to what? Still very high. Let's make it high. Oh God, we're just sitting here just tinkering with stuff now to see what happens. This is crazy. A man will fight harder for his interests than for his rights. Eh, maybe. Although we've always considered... Uh, they're still doing this. Blasphemy. A book has been published which is highly critical of a religion followed by a cross-section of our society. Religious leaders have described the book as blasphemy and demanding that it be removed from sale. There have been violent protests outside bookstores where copies of the book have been burned. Oh, shit. If we ban the book, this book is highly offensive and we should take into account the views of our ethnic minorities. It's entirely reasonable to restrict the sale of materials like this, which is likely to cause a public disturbance, so we'll ban the book. Take no action. You cannot give in to the demands of a small group of extremists demanding that we ban a book. Before we know it, there will be capitalists wanting to ban the works of Karl Marx. Freedom to express people's views. Yeah, that's kind of going out of control. I mean, but of course they say that the Obama administration, which a lot of people term as socialist, say that that's what caused the Benghazi incident. So maybe that's true. So I don't know. 8.86 billion and consider dropping taxes. Ooh. Ooh. I might actually drop that one a little bit more then. Motorists are getting happier with me. Corporate tax and income tax. Corporate tax is average. I wish, can we drop this to where it increases? See, that won't, it won't raise the GDP at all. And this has nothing to do with the GDP. I would love to get my GDP going again. Air quality is hurting it. Internet immigration is hurting it. Helping it as well. And this is hurting the... Uh... See, everything just hurts the GDP. Nothing really helps it, so I don't, I don't know. What do we want to do? We need to get the... Let's have this... Oh, I can't do that yet. We, we might do this. The faith school subsidies. Often religious schools have good academic records and their supporters can make a case for government subsidy on the basis that the government should support methods of education that are proven to be effective. Critics say that a religion has no place in education and that the government cannot be seen to push a particular religion or children. We would never get away with that. Public libraries. Let's do this. And increase that all the way. And bam. That's this turn. Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh my god, I can't believe that quote got on here. Oh, we need to make our election manifesto. So what are we going to do this next term? If the budget... I wish I could see that. I think it says... Surplus of 11.02 billion, so we might be able to cut income tax by 10%. And 
maybe abolish the car tax. Good news, everyone. Budget's in good shape. People are 74 percent of the vote. Excellent. V chip. The V chip bill is a proposal to make it mandatory for all televisions made or sold in the country to include hardware which listens for a signal. Broadcast with TV programs which rates the program based on the content. Uh, we're going to block this. Let people decide on their own. It's none of our business to get involved. Uh, religious groups are really pissed at us. Hey, we can increase the uh, gambling if we. Uh, but uh, I think that would lead to issues. Are you fixing... Oh my god, it's almost there. Almost there. Very happy about that. This is going back down. Tax evasion is. I want to keep this surplus here so that I can pay off the debt. Everybody still happy? Loyalty, 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 loyalty. She loves me. I must be banging her. Banging the oriental chick. Woo woo! Alright. The religious group is... The stem cells is upsetting them. Will this actually increase the GDP and our technological advantage? Yeah, I'm going to put stem cell research. Oh, I don't have the ability? How much is it? Oh, well. We'll wait. Guess we get an election here, don't we? Here we go. Wow, looks like we're running away with this election. We've been re-elected for our third and final turn. How about that, Gamer Nation? Wow. Freedom Party wins again. Oh man, we almost had all the groups. We didn't get the capitalists, which I'm dropping their taxes. They should be happy. The wealthy's not happy, but we did get a third of each of those. And the conservatives aren't happy, but we got 45% of the vote. Wow, that's... Oh, we won an aerospace contract. One of our aircraft companies has just won a huge contract to produce new planes. This is great news for the industry and superb news for employment and the economy as a whole. Pundits are saying a business-friendly tax system is one reason we got the contract. Nice. 13.3 billion surplus. Positive discrimination. There are calls for a law to expressly set quotas for the unemployment of ethnic and other minorities by a large corporation. This is the Affirmative Action Act. And government institutions. <clears throat> this would put pressure on companies to give higher priority to some job candidates than others on the basis of their race, sex, or age. We need this law. In economic terms, it makes no s sense for people below or above a certain age to be rendered unemployable. Also, in human rights terms, this is much needed compensation for years of discrimination in the workplace against minorities, women, and the elderly and the disabled. <sighs> We're a socialist country, so we have to pass this law. My understanding of this is helping. I really wish we could get rid of this inner city riots. This is bullshit. I mean, it's going down, but it's taking forever. Three terms, what's that, 12 years? I don't know. But the socialists are fanatically supportive still. My drinkers are mildly satisfied. They're 83% of the population. That is amazing. And we actually can lower some more taxes, but you'll have to wait till next time on Democracy 2 with SKS. Gamers, hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, remember that it's part of the SKS Game Blitz going on through the end of this month, July. I shouldn't have said this month, but the end of July. So I'll see you next time, and good night.